everyone! So today I thought I would experiment with something. I made a contraption here. I took an old tip of a high flow acrylic bottle that I glued to a top of a bottle <laughs> and then I taped it to make sure it holds and I put strings here so it can move like that. The idea behind this is I fill paint in here and open this and then give it a, a push and or maybe in a circle kind of motion and make lines on my painting. You know I love lines and so I thought it would be a good idea. I just tested it on the parchment paper. Uh, it seems like it works and I think it will work even better with more paint in so the pressure really makes it so it's a steady line and I don't know if you remember this main thing. I wanted to do kind of a black flames on there. Well, I'll do lines instead and I think it's going to be very interesting looking and uh, I wanted to try it on a dried canvas and see how it works. So, I will, uh, I guess I'll zoom you in and get started, but if I zoom you in too much, maybe you won't see the pendulum effect. I'm not sure. Uh, figure something out and we'll get to it. Oui. All right, so put my paint in. What I did is a mix of acrylic inks, carbon black, and iridescent silver. I'll just put it here on top of a glass to open it before it starting. And here we go. I think that's plenty of lines and I think it looks very very interesting. It's going to be a shorter video today but I think quite an interesting one. I think uh, this is an interesting um, idea just to give a bit of character to a pore. And I can't wait to see how it will dry. Hopefully the line keeps their volume and keep stay in place. We'll see. It's lovely. It creates, it's like um, when we were a kid, uh, spirographs, I think it was called. Those are uh, big wheels we used to uh, roll and create drawings with, it looks like that. And I think that would look very amazing on the large canvas. And I think it would be even better if I had something to tie the thing on and just put the glass under when I open it and give it a push and start it that way. It would be uh, quite interesting. It's a idea in the making. I think it's a uh, Pretty interesting and I think uh, there's something to it for sure. Paint will dry iridescent as well like a dark silver and it's going to be quite cool. So yeah how I did made that explained. It's the tip I made this contraption, I explained, it's the tip of a old high flow acrylic bottle that I, 
I had and it was empty, so I took the tip, I glued it to a bottle, and then I taped it just to make sure it was secured, and then I made holes on the top where I tied the ropes. Nothing very complicated, and well, it works. So yeah, pretty interesting result. I think it's quite uh, interesting. Interesting. New word. Word of the day. I, I think I said it quite often. Alright. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I quite enjoyed uh, trying this uh, new thing. I, <coughs> I forgot to say how I mixed the paint. I mixed the paint to be uh, stringy when you take it with the, your mixing stick, paint brush, or anything you mix with, it has to drip down but in a continuous string. So I used um, acrylic inks, but I added a, a lot of medium and very, very little water. And I also used a tiny bit of the Fine Lines Clear Tar Gel, just a tiny, tiny bit because I wanted the paint to remain liquid and stringy. This helped a little bit, uh, but yeah. I think you can pretty much omit the clear tar gel. You just want your paint to have a stringy texture and you can achieve that with the pouring medium or GAC 800, whatever you use. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with the result, really. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I sure did. And um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!